Okay, so what is sorting and filtering? A Microsoft Excel spreadsheet can contain a great deal of information. Sometimes you may find that you need to reorder or sort that information, create groups or filter information to be able to use it most effectively. Uh, sorting and filtering basically means that uh, to reorder or rearrange something, uh, the data which it has been entered in the spreadsheet, to rearrange that either ascending order, descending order, or in the chronology uh, way, anything which uh, in which we are sorting the data or arranging it, it's called sorting the data. Okay? And in filtering, it is uh, we are able to use it in the most effectively form. Like filter, when you apply filter to a worksheet, you get the gray color drop down controls. Filter switches appear to the right of the column heading of a list. Using these switches, you can filter any data. Now, sorting list in common spreadsheet tasks that allow you easily reorder your data. The most common type of set or uh, sorting is alphabetical order, which you can do in ascending or descending. See, the most common type of sorting the data is alphabetic order. To sort in alphabetical order, select the cell in the column you want to sort. In the example, we choose our col a cell in column A. Click the sort and filter command in the editing group of the home tab. Sort data, uh, select sort A to Z. Now the information in the category column is organized in alphabetical order. See, this is the call. Uh, this is a part where from we can sort the data alphabetically. You can sort in reserve, uh, reverse alphabetical order by choosing sort Z to A. If we are going to choose the second option, sort Z to A, the data would be arranged in the descending order, like uh, the uh, name starting with the letter B would be in the top of the list, and the starting with the A, it would be in the end of the list. To sort from smallest to largest, select the cell in the column you want to sort, a column with numbers. Click the sort and filter command in the editing group on the home tab. Select from smallest to largest. Now the information is organized from the smallest to the largest amount. You can sort uh, in reverse numerical order by choosing from largest to smallest in the list. The sort, uh, the sort multiple levels. Click the sort and filter command in the editing group on the home tab. Select custom sort from the list to open dialog box. Select the data tab, locate the sort and filter group. Click the sort command to open the custom sort dialog box from where you can sort one by one item or multiple items. Here, see, click the drop down arrow in the column sort by field, then choose one of the options in this example category. When you are going to click it, there uh, the category box would appear and just you have to do is select a category you want to sort it in. Here, see category option, choose what to sort on. In this example, we will leave the default as value. In the first column, sort by, you need to just, uh, select the category. Then, uh, whatever the uh, so whatever the data you need to sort, and then order me kya apne rakhna A to C, Z to A, uh, smallest to the largest or largest to the smallest, jo bhi apne. Choose how to order the results. Leave it as A to C, so it is organized alphabetically. Click Add Level to add another item to sort by. The spreadsheet has been sorted. All of the categories are organized in alphabetical order. And within each category, the unit cost is arranged from smallest to largest. Remember that all the information and the data is still here. It's just in different order. Okay, the data which you are sorting, which you have entered, the entire data is still there as it is in the spreadsheet. Just the difference is it's now in an arranged manner in a sorted way. Okay, data wants to be removed. Nahi hota. It's just ke pe ek, uh, sequence mein aa jata hai. Now, moving further for the, uh, to the filtration part, filter data uh, in a range or table. Using auto filter to filter data is a quick and easy way to find and work with the subset of data in range of cells or table. 
Once you have filtered data in range of a cell or table, you can either reapply a filter to get up to date result or clear filter to redisplay all the data. ठीक है हम उसको reapply कर सकते हैं to to get updated. ठीक है और हम उसको redisplay कर सकते हैं clear कर सकते हैं redisplay कर सकते हैं. Further uh what is filtering filtered data displays on the rows that meet criteria that is specify and hides row that you do not want to display actually class uh, filtering mein hum kya kar rahe hote hain hum uh, screen pe hame kya cheeze show karni hai hum wo commands computer ko de rahe hote hain theek hai ki kaun si row hame chahiye kaun si hame nahi chahiye uh, after you filter data you can copy Uh, find edit format and subset of filtered data without rearranging or moving hum usko jo hai copy kar sakte hain edit kar sakte hain format kar sakte hain bina usko move kiye ya rearrange kiye you can also filter more than one columns hum usko ek se zyada columns ko bhi filter kar sakte hain auto filter you create three types of filters by a list values by format by criteria you can filter by cell color uh by list of numbers you can filter by icon see again then a uh, second thing range of cells select a range of cells containing alphanumeric data on the data tab in the sort of filter group click filter see again just select the range puri aap us entire cells ko select karoge uh data tab pe jayenge then there is an option it's on your screen sort and filter group usko aap click karoge to jo wahan pe uh, categories aayenge usme se aapne फिल्टर पार्ट को क्लिक करना है एंड द डेटा विल बी फिल्टर ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट फिल्टरिंग एंड सॉर्ट